announce to the girlies that you know there's a new makeup girl in town period spread the word there's a new makeup girl in town damn work hard as you get it i get it damn that's so crazy get it i get it at the end of the night when you count numbers don't lie my baby Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who are here for the first time, my name is Chantal. Most people call me Shani. My name is Shani Says on all social media platforms. So I know I haven't posted in the longest. I think the last time I post on YouTube was um, last year, May or June of 2023. We're in March now. Girl. When I come here for a long talking, in terms of like, I was not around because this and I was not, literally, I never had any tripod and I never had no storage in my phone. Simple, 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 simple. So it's not that I never wanted to vlog or it's not like I was going through anything. It's not like I wanted to give YouTube a break, none of that. I simply never had any tripod um, and, um, I never have no storage in my phone so the whole vlogging thing was just was just not gonna work i bought this thing for the car so i have a tripod that i can a travel tripod and then i have one for the car but the one for the car is just not good it does not work man it's high up to buy a tripod for the car anyways i'm on my way to get my lashes done so i'm on my way to kingston to get my lashes done I got my nails done yesterday. I got my hair done the day before. I also need to wax my eyebrows today. Because my eyebrows are going to wax. Yeah. So, y'all miss me or what? Y'all miss me or what? Uh, so, hopefully I'm not late. It's... Can't read or watch out. Hopefully I'm not late. So, that's the tea. I'll check in back with you guys soon. Yeah. I have a 215 appointment. I left out at my house like 1 30 come here and say I'm supposed to can't reach a done rabbit quick and fast in 30 minutes, 45 minutes. But I'm gonna jump on the tool. Tell me why all of the school them are over. Every church right now a funeral. Oh shit, that didn't really want Christ. I feel so bad. <laughs> Every church has funeral, every school are over. Every time I tell me church means and I know me not come out of Spanish stone. I know me not come out of Spanish stone. If I did my nails, me I don't more to worry because I want thing, page I go late. But we know Aishiba did it and she probably already have our schedule and everything. We don't want to throw out track. Jesus, I'm hoping I don't encounter any more traffic. Because 30 minutes to come out of Spanish town. Crazy from Eltam to um, where's the name? Spanish Town Hospital is ridiculous. Yo, I broke a nails yesterday. I broke a nails as soon as me do my nails, my nails broke it, broke it on the door. But I wanted to go back to page to redo my nails. I like these, I like these, I think it's very cute, but I don't like the other ones. So the other ones are done like this. Are y'all seeing it? Wait. Yeah, the other ones are done like that. But I know I don't like it. But you know me once for me to go back to fix something. For me it's always it's never that serious to go back to fix something. Because sometimes if me do my nails, I mean because my nails don't normally break. For me to find my way, because I don't like to leave my house, and for me to leave my house two times to go fix something, it takes so much out of me, but I probably have to go fix it, because now it broke. I like this too, I'm not going to lie. I was just telling you guys that I'm late. Okay. 
five minutes and good and decent time for Spanish to talk right. I don't know how to do so. Girl, I be a traffic, be a traffic, be a traffic, be a traffic, because it looks like a. The lashes are done. The only thing needs for do me. Um, brown. Miss Swim always feel like says she but have something there. I'm right here, right on Constant Spring Road. We're heading that way. Right now, today. Today. You know, when the traffic catch me, not all, you know. All right, so I decided that I'm going to stop by the guy that is going to do my eyebrows first because I realized say, the scrub place is closer than I thought. But hopefully, we can get one parking over here. So, because if we don't know, to we don't know. There's never no parking here ever. So, let's keep our fingers crossed that so we can get our parking. Is this one right here? I know there's something there. Don't you not make me say we can't get in a park? I'm gonna go pay for park. It's ridiculous. I want to be that old name name from Olava. Where is the year Friday? My big God. Guys, I literally had the roughest. The roughest. Uh, 30 minutes of my life from the last time I the talked to me until now the rough first 30 minutes so I got my uniform I'm going to get my roses now the past 30 minutes I had to be dealing with Roman Wings Ada I had to be dealing with um, a customer that was going by my, my showroom to pick up an item again jesus christ give me a break anyways the past 30 minutes i had to be trying to find the location for the scrubs place some on the gps i had to be taking calls from a gentleman that was going by the showroom to pick up an item for his friend or whatever i had to be dealing with roman wings customers Taking them orders, submitting them orders, and so Girl, at me supposed to pick up the roses them six o'clock. It's six twenty-one. Me they didn't know we're close because the GPS said me on one road where them are fixed, and them detour me. I'm end up have to go back in the half a tree. And if you know, you know, Kingston is not a place that certain places in Kingston is not a place that you want to be any time after four o'clock because it's bumper to bumper traffic right through like. I can't. I can't. Mm. <laughs> Where do we get glass from? Let me tell it, make him. Hey, no, yeah? yeah. I do not you know. I can't sit in there. No, no, no. Side, yeah. Take a sip from cheers. <laughs> cheers, best thing. <laughs> Guys, I am home. I got my uniform. Like I said, I only wanted one i was only going to buy one just because just because oh wait let me go for the sneakers i wanted one just to match just to, um to do my photo shoot Yes, I just wanted one to do my photo show because I'm not necessarily going to wear uniform every day. So this is this is the sneakers. I wanted white to go with the sneakers. But I got gray. I feel like the gray can still work. 
what y'all think what y'all think so this is what i'm going to do the photo shoot in um yeah it's a small yeah i also got the roses i never knew the roses was going to be so small they mad small i wanted roses to do my photo shoot i also wanted them because you know it's a new business venture but I, honey i wasn't i was not willing to spend twenty thousand dollars on a rose right now i'm sorry i was just not willing to spend twenty thousand dollars on my rose some roses right now it's bringing me free shit free um juice and milk I'm off juice for Lent, so I don't know why I'm bringing one here. Maybe Bobby bring them. My uncle gave me these for free, but I wanted the milk for my um. When him mysterious, I do my already have milk over here, but maybe Bobby can drink now. So yeah, let me show you my. Let me show you what's for dinner. Y'all know the vibe. I like that their bags are labeled. So I got the scrubs from Scrub City. It's Scrub City JA on Instagram. And it was $7,000. You have some that is cheaper than that. Oh. Nice right now because as we reach a room somebody buy me some liquor. Plus, you know, rum and hungry belly just means they'll get from the water. So, I'm kind of nice. But let me show y'all what I got from rum and wings for dinner. So, this is shrimp pasta. Yeah, period. This is $2,500. Whenever you are in Spanish town, don't forget to stop by Roma Wings for your food. We have wings, we have pasta, we have seafood, we have burger, we have hot dog, all the good things then. So, yeah. Yeah. What's happening? What are your thoughts? Rich. Trishna, I'm not up on you. <laughs> okay, so move that over to the side of the wall there. Yep. Okay. Over your son, I'm up there. Yo, I be a cute little nursey girl. Anyways, y'all, I'm home. Yeah, when this is a reach home, I did my face. Natural beats. y'all see the blush is the blush showing but so this is what the scrub looks like i feel like next time i'm going to buy a um a medium i feel like the joggers is just too tight i don't know what y'all think <laughs> one of my models so all right so basically wait all right so basically what's happening is that um this is a new business venture, clearly. I, in my head, I feel like I'm the girl that is always trying, trying to do something, trying to do this, trying to do that, trying to do that, trying to do that. But the thing is, all my business ventures, this is clean by the way, have always been things like for regions of prayer. It's not something that me have to get up and do. You get me? I know something me have to get up and do. The restaurant like everything that i've done so far except for stitch therapy and that is why i didn't really really end up stop through stitch therapy it's always something where don't require me for for me to be like super duper active if you get what i say i feel like if you're a makeup artist if you're a hairstylist if you work with your hands if you have to do the actual work if you have to get up and do the actual work I feel like 
yeah, well, basically that's what me at all. None of, my, none of my business them, none of my work them. It's not, it doesn't feel like a 9 to 5. It doesn't feel like something that I have to get up and do. You get me? So I wanted to be able to like start something that requires me to get up and do something. So I decided, I've been thinking, it was either first it was Fusion Lash and then it was hair and then now it's makeup. And I'm finally... Decided that I'm going to do makeup and pursue it. So basically, tonight I'm doing a little photo shoot. Tonight, announced to the girlies that you know there's a new makeup girl in town. Period. Spread the word. There's a new makeup girl in town. Yes, I want to do. I don't know if I'm going to like these sneakers like this. Oh, them feel big. Jeez. So this is one of my birthday gifts. Um, shout out to Javon, my friend Javon. He bought me these sneakers for my birthday. I don't know if I want it with the socks like that. What is it? I'm, I'm trying to see how I'm going to do the, do the arm thing. I think I'm going to lower the chair. Alright. I'm trying to see what I'm going to do my photo shoot. I don't know how to style these sneakers though. <sighs> yeah, so my friend Javon got me these for my birthday. It was on my birthday list. I'm just showing you some other stuff. My cousin got me these um toy bridge earrings. If you've been on my channel, then you know that I've been had a toy bridge earring, earring, but I lost one of them. So my cousin got me one got me a, a new pair so yeah my cousin got me these period Javon got me these Russell got me this was not on my birthday list I never wanted but he knew that I was starting the makeup thing so he also got me this and it came in several parts it, it has more parts it has that three more part than that so that's the only thing I can find that right now when we get from right now so that's why I'm highlighting it. But yeah, I'm going to get on the start the shoot now. I bought myself some roses today, but them little bits, it was like seven toes like girl, this looks so small. What am I gonna do with this? How am I gonna take a picture with this? It does look little. Sometimes Instagram and the old hip internet make you feel like you see the girl with them big bouquet. It's like I feel like I have to get it to but Girl, I've been spending so much money. I don't have it. I have it, but I don't have it. Who get it, get it. Who don't, don't. That's that's fine. <laughs> Period. So how am I going to? Oh, I like this like this way. Oh, I see it like that. So I look here. Oh, so I've been accepted models, so free makeup. I've been doing the girly spaces for free. So one of my clients, my free clients, my model, she was saying, you know, what are you going to wear? Because I intended to just wear normal clothes to work every day. Of course, I would have probably like got, gotten a shirt. So in case I need to go on the road to do like business errands, I could wear my shirt. But apart from that, when I'm working, I always thought that I was just going to like wear regular clothes. But she said she was like you know she asked me what i was going to wear and then i was saying it to my friend and sheba and she was like girl get some of food here and then i realized that the girlies are wearing scrubs so i was like you know what i'm gonna get me some scrubs period i'm gonna do a photo shoot no man Okay, girly bops so the photo shoot is finished you feel like i'm finding one one and two picture i feel like i wanted to write on this mirror oh in here it's not complete i need to get rid of the boxes <clears throat> if nobody wants to spend some little box some little containers i'll take it okay my piggy bank done per i wanted to write something on the mirror that says um accepting bookings but i'm afraid of that mirror yeah it's not easy to rub off 
like a plastic mirror or something but the shoot is done uh, the pictures so the pictures were okay so yeah Hey y'all, good morning. So today is Sunday. I have my second and final um makeup class today. Guys, I don't know what is going on for my skin. I have so much blemishes. So much blemishes. Oh, and I didn't fix my nails. I did a whole intro the other day when I was going to get my lashes done and whatnot, but I don't know if I'm going to post it because I don't like how I look on it. So, my cousin is coming over to be my model and my and Nikki. Ooh. To be my instructor so I just took a shower and yeah so when them come probably go on one little glimpse and pieces this one enjoy more yeah my face was full of spot like spot 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 yo like not like that I've been trying to be so consistent with my skincare from the other day So you go wipe off the shadow. I'm heading on the road 
first stop is to stop and get some um ice for the bar and then i'm taking some bacon over to the restaurant and then i'm going to go to the liquor store to get some liquor for the bar so this is the outfit of the day it's very hot you can see me need have on my tank top while i was getting ready i see a lot i have on my sunscreen so if i look early that's the reason why my shades are not fitting honey yo look at me i said <sighs> bro yeah the sun is so hot outside it is crazy but i have something to say to you guys and i want to hear the input right my own my own bar not own but i operate a bar from march of last year we're in march so it's been one year there is a liquor store that is very very close to me in proximity but the liquor store they're close to me, right? So it's easy for me to just drive down there, buy everything you may buy and come back. Mind you, when you're running a business, sometimes you really have to look on prices and you really have to try not try find the closest place to you, but try find the place then where the price is the most reasonable. Well, that is what I've always heard because it's better for your business. But for me, I value convenience a lot. So I'm not the type of person that is going to drive around and go buy some little something else and go buy some little something else and go buy that over there so just so I can save two hundred dollars per a creator, a thousand dollars in total or even two thousand dollars in total. I cannot bother with that. I rather just go there and buy everything one time. So basically, I'm a loyal customer there. When I go there, me not buy down people price. I don't give them no trouble. I go there, I give them a list, I buy me, I buy my pay for me, I pay for me, I leave. I don't give no trouble, I load up nobody. None of that. You get me? So, um, apparently, Ria Nevio, rum, the quart bottle, been um, scarce since I've set for the past three months or so. So, when I was keeping my party in December, I went there. Mind you, I've been going to this place uh, religiously since March of 2023. My party in a December. I don't know how much more that you do the calculation. The, the owner is probably familiar with my face, but he's not going to know me like that. But the workers them and also the manager, him supposed to know me like that. Why when I have let's say them have ten rum on the shelf and say I'm buying six rum. Why are they going to tell me that they cannot sell me the six rum? So I was like, I don't understand. Is it that the rooms in where they panish shelf? I'm looking at the shelf. I know you guys have 10 rooms on the shelf. Is it that those rooms are, are already bought? Why is it that I can't get? They are saying we can't only get two. Their reason for this is that room is scarce and they are trying to give make everybody get a room. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about that. And I feel like that is just so stupid. I was so irritated. Listen, I was so freaking irritated. It's like, and them all tell me, say, I'm going to use my head for them and go back and join the line. That is stupidness. That to me is stupidness. First come, first serve. Me I pay cash, me not trust. Me not ball on the price, me not trust. So that really just rubbed me the wrong way. I think my boyfriend, after that, my boyfriend got there again. And I think the same thing happened. And he didn't load them up and whatever, whatever. And one of the workers were like, well... Basically, you can go somewhere else go buy it. Like, basically, we don't care. You can go somewhere else go buy it. You don't have to buy it here. Listen, as a business owner, I know that when a customer literally looks at you and tell you like, "Yo, I'm not shop with you again. I'm not buy from you again. I'm not use the service again." To you, the customers, or to the people that don't naturally have a business, it might feel like it's the whole entire world, but it's not the whole entire world. So one person can stop a business 10 person can stop a business just to be honest and you can look on all the big something them can share room where they might try boycott this and boycott that and da, da, da. in it's it's really neither here nor there a customer saying i mean for people who value them customers and have good customer service you might feel some type of way but it's really not that serious so but just the fact that them say it and just the fact say yo to me them whole policy of oh rum is scarce so they might try to get everybody rum it's just dumb also as a lawyer customer that have been shopping there for months when i give them no problem or nothing i think it's just it's just ridiculous anyways while the mirror is not here i'm telling you something about something for the bar i'm going down there 
one of the worker, I don't want to turn the life on him, but him basically I said to me, say, yo, brown in them now nah, go. That it, this I look shaky, you know, based on what he's saying. I'm not saying the exact word, but what I'm getting from it is that rum is there, but they're not going to give you the rum. Rum is there, but they're not going to give it to you. Honestly, I don't know why. Him already did take my list and him already I start pack up the things them and that. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to the man and I said, no, don't have the rum. He was like, no, don't have the rum. I don't believe them. I feel like they have rum. Them just stupid and I'm tired of them. So I just, just tell the man, say, yo, I just give him, give him normal tip when I give him to pack up the stuff them for me and just tell him, say, yo, listen, I'm not going to buy them. My drive come far and I go in so and you go and see, I can't get any amount of rum I want. And them not have no stupid dumbass policy about a first come first serve. Oh, you are going. Oh, am I? Oh, oh, I'm. Oh, can I be a loyal customer? And I come to you until I say, I want six drum out here. Tell me, you tell me, say, can only give me two because other people want to buy. Are you dumb? No. No. I'm going to take my money and I'm going to go somewhere else. Fuck you and your stupid ass business. So, I'm going to eat them down there, see? And like him, I said to me, say, bro, he must say, like, bro, need something and something that bought the rum. I mean, you know, what? So, I go to the manager and I say, because well, the man needs to pack up my things. Can you know, I give them a little bit of the rum? They say, no, I say, you know what? I'm not going to come back to the sun. So, I say, let me create. I'm just going to let him go back to the Monday, I'm just coming from off the road. I got some food. Because I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn on the light panel so you can see. The flavor and all of that. So I'm home now. I think I'm going to go into smoke and then I'm going to lay down, rest up little, and then get up, eat, right? Take food now. Get up, eat, and then go to the bar later. Yeah, that's the bar. Did I check in with you guys all day today? Alright, so I'm doing a little unboxing. I'm going to do it on TikTok first because I'm trying to compile like a little hygiene video for my TikTok. So I'm just going to do this. I just got home. No, me did tell me somebody reached back home, right? I changed my phone case because I changed it and I can't find the other one. So I'm going to change it. Oh, me did not say again. Um yeah yeah i was saying i just came back from the bar because i went to pick up my girls to drop them off home safely because me a good boss period when i have to dolly them on the road jesus that's my fancy my tip god but yeah i'm going to do a little unboxing for tiktok hey guys i think this is the last day of the vlog i'm going to try to upload today's friday i'm going to try to upload by one of these days um i just got home it was a long work day so I will feel like that is the word that work and that work hard. So it was a very long work day at the, at the bar and restaurant. So I got my wifey gift. Late but sure. I want thing. Latoya now go buy me one gift for my birthday. She's always going to get me two lists. Two birthday gift from my list. My oh, she knows that she already spoiled me so she can't stop. No, if I look greasy and sweaty, I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to try to cool her first and drink the soup. So this was on my birthday list. I think it's because I want, you know, me have to do the makeup thing now, and I still have to like um, deal with my customers. I put call for food, so I probably I go be on my phone a lot, so I don't want to have to be. Me can just press my watch, can just press my watch, and so I told them it's not that I deal with food, and we can still do me do. So I want this was on my birthday list, so she finally got it for, for me. Thank you, baby. She also got me something else from my list. A Sephora gift card because, of course, again, with the makeup thing, I wanted to buy, purchase makeup online. So, I finally got my AirPods. This is my second AirPods. My friend Javon did get me so, um, one already, but I lost it. 
Father God, we need to stop losing the TV's name. Honestly. But yeah, um, like I said, today is the last day of our vloggy vloggy. Thank y'all so much for watching, watching. Now I drink some red pea soup. I showed them a soup before. Black one now. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye. I know I told y'all hi good morning it's such a day. I know I told y'all that the vlog is yesterday. But I know me not something there. Yo, you can't believe nothing in my heart to eat. So I just ordered breakfast from this breakfast joint in Spanish Town. There, it's called Fix It Wings on Instagram. In case you guys want to go for it, it's very cheap. So scrambled eggs, pancakes, and the hash browns. It was thirteen hundred dollars, and that included delivery. Then I give a syrup. So it's from the eggs, hash browns, and pancakes. I didn't order any bacon because that's literally the only thing I have at home. 